I found this in the hospital trash bin. So, this is a methadone detox. I see. I wonder what this drug is doing in the hospital trash bin. Dr. Chris. Well, this can be used as a pain relief or addiction therapy. For the whole years, we've worked in this hospital. You and I know that this hospital do not use this particular drug as a pain relief. There are other pain relief drugs in the uh, um, 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 drug room. And uh, the nurses have been using them. So how come I found this one in the hospital trash bin? Yeah, maybe someone did it urgently and they bought it and used it. Oh, Dr. Chris, please. You know that this drug is very dangerous to health. And you, listen, you know it has a very bad effect on patients, especially when overused. And it's not good for old people. Dr. Chess, what are you digging at? The old woman with cancer died all of a sudden. And the hospital, I mean you, announced that she's dead. Dr. Chris, is there something you're not telling us? Did you intentionally kill this woman to relieve yourself the stress of operating her? Are you mad? I mean, how dare you accuse me falsely? Listen, Dr. Chess, if you want to accuse me, go about it the right way. I'm the senior doctor in this hospital and I won't have you insult me for this insolence attitude of yours. You are suspended. Leave my office now. I don't want to see you anywhere around this office. Leave! I said, leave. What nonsense. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, right, no, no. Rubbish. Up like someone that ate something for me. Do that. Mm. You see, I felt a little bit weird while in class, so it's nothing I'm fine. Mm. Well, you know you can't deceive me, right? The tiredness and sleepiness in class is becoming so much. So tell me. Tell you what. Mm? Gossip. There is nothing to talk about. Let's go back to class. Are you pregnant? Oh. Answer me, are you pregnant? Honestly, this time, there is no time for rubbish. I and my sister won't take any rubbish from anyone. Why is it so? Because everyone is looking for what to gossip about, and you know we are not in for that. Says the two troublesome students in the high school. Please don't let us start with you. Try me. I know that we are friends, but you two are not much for me. Please, let's go to the library. Well, I'm not in. You guys can go. Suit yourself. Mira, let's go. Fine. Wait at our usual spot. Why are you here? See, Fevisha, I can't wait. I need this package urgently. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. I will, I will pay you through our usual means. You better do it fast. Though. Don't trust me again. Go out with you. Well, I'm here now, so why did you both call me out here? Julia is pregnant. So? I, I don't understand. What do you mean by so? Gloria is pregnant and you are responsible. You should accept your responsibility. So? No, wait. Uh, Benita or whatever it is you called. You are telling me that Gloria is pregnant. Yes. As what? No, as her spokesperson or what? Let me get it. David, this isn't a joke. I am pregnant and you're responsible. <laughs> pregnant and I'm responsible as what? Eh, as what, Kwanu now? As your boyfriend or as your husband, I don't get it. Hey, let me remind you something. I did not ask you out. Yes, don't forget. You were the one that asked me out. You were the one running after me and you offered to give me something for free. I can't chop clean mouth and here you are telling me about pregnancy wait wait Who does wait, that? wait wait just hold it there i don't understand no i don't get it do you think pregnancy is a joke or something mm. i don't understand what is all this nonsense you're saying since well i i know it's not a joke better better for you okay but let me make something clear here. gloria or whatever it tastes you call yourself you see this thing growing inside of you. It's none of my business. Adama Azona Fia and, and, and pregnancy. If I want to do business, I do good business. That is to say that this thing here, you should find a way. Yes, I sort yourself out. Because me here, Davis, I am still a student living under my uncle's care yes now see me now no take a look at me now i can't even take care of myself how much more adding you and and, and now the pregnancy who does that who does that see the best thing for you now to do is go and look for a way out yes look for a way out before it gets out of hand come to think of it to think of it. How come I just did this thing once with you and, and boom, you got pregnant? Some people go, they do them, they think no, they enter your own just once, you don't, my dear. Is this how those big girls do it? Davis, you are very stupid. Ah. See, come back here and uh, accept responsibility. Oh. Davis! Davis, where are you going to? Come and accept your responsibility. Oh. Davis! Hey, why did this idiot do? Hey! I'm finished. See, come, come. I'm finished. No, calm down. You're not finished. Calm down. My auntie will kill me. Look, look, Gloria, listen to me. You're not finished. And your auntie won't kill you. Davis denied the pregnancy and there's nothing you can do about it. Despite the fact you don't want anyone to know about it. You just have to think of something to do before it gets out of hand. Okay? Just calm down. Something like what? Find a way. You think of something. You think of something. Just calm down. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go. I saw you at the gate with someone. Who is he? Is he your boyfriend? You saw me? Yes, I did. Um, yes, he's, he's my ex. He came to get something of his at the moment. Okay. Oh, let me do it now. Okay. Since he's your ex, why don't you consider me? Because from the look of things, it seems you're still single. <laughs> no, that 
is funny now. I see, it's, it's, it's a good combination. But I mean, see me now. Are you listening to yourself? Me? Quiet. Are you now? That's your boyfriend. Yeah? With your senseless self. I don't know for you. Me senseless! Wait, look! Look at this girl, Nano and Natinia. Look, see! Hey, God, guy. See, you, see, men are scared, so you better, you, you, you just better come and pick me now. Nano, okay now, look at me. Anyway, I'm a good looking man, so I'm not scared. Yeah. I'm good looking. I'm okay, but I'm pick close with you. I'm okay, but relationship therapy is too much. I'm okay, but 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 I'm okay. <laughs> no, no, they will, they will work here. <laughs> sir, you called me, sir. Yes. Why haven't you performed the surgery on the woman that was brought here yesterday? Uh, sorry. Sir, I'm not a surgeon. I'm just an ordinary doctor. You are the number one surgeon we have in this hospital. So, operating on patients like this is your duty, sir. Are you trying to teach me my job or what? No, sir. Now, will you go and operate on her? Now! I'm sorry, doctor. If it were to be an ordinary surgery, of course you know I would obey you. But this is a lung cancer surgery. I'm just a poor doctor. And I wouldn't want an innocent woman to die on the table of, of, of an unexperienced doctor like me. Please, sir. I beg to take my leave, sir. Such a hard nut to crack. Um, how did it go with the purchase? Judy, it didn't go as planned. Okay. He refused to question the woman. So, are we just going to let her die without even trying? There's nothing I can do. Moreover, I don't want to stress myself over an old man that will die someday. Since the family are yet to complete the payment for the operation, let's, let's use her as a bet. You know what to do tonight, right? Of course. Her death is going to be a beautiful one. Yeah, baby. That's why I love you. Yeah. And as for Dr. Chess, why don't you fire him instead? No, Judy. I can't just fire him right now. We still need him. <sighs> It's okay. I trust your judgment. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Gloria, I don't know what to do for you. I can't even imagine what your aunt is going to do if she finds out about the pregnancy. I'll be dead. Yes. She will bury me alive. I don't know what to do either. I think I have a way out though. That's only if you agree to it. Um, please tell me. I can do anything. I would do anything. Please, I beg you. Please. If, if you insist, then I, I, I think you should. Benita, sister. sister, why are you here? I've told you time to that number to always go home when school is over. So why are you here? Good afternoon to you too, sister. <laughs> For my almighty sister to be here by this time, there is something she wants to say. Ah. So what is it? Okay, why don't you talk on our way home? Oh yeah, let's go. Um, Yes. Can you I... talk, young lady? Okay. My sister. There's this classmate of mine. Her name is Gloria. Mm -hmm. She's... She's pregnant. The guy responsible for the pregnancy denied it. 
And how is it my business? Uh -uh, sister, we need to help her. Help her as what? As in how? As what now? Sister, please. See, she stays with her auntie. And if her auntie finds out that she's pregnant, she's going to kill her. Please, we need to help her. Sister, you need to help her get rid of that thing. Please. Benita, no. are you mad? Have you gone nuts? Are you insane? Eh? Sister, no. It's like something is wrong with you. If you don't have something to say, you better shut up. I know you were the one that told her that she can help herself by having an abortion. Abby, for news flash, my sister. I will not help her. Ha! Ah, sister, please, now you have done this for me before. You haven't done it for yourself. Abby, shut up. You did up. it for Chica too. Please now, sister, now. Please now. Leave me! Why, why did you even tell her about me? Yeah? Anyways, you know I don't do things without money. I don't do petty business. So, if she have the money, I can just consider her. But if she doesn't have, I'm off. That was not the problem. I told her already. She has 30,000 She has been saving for some time. Better. Thank just you. shut up and listen to me first. Just tell her that I will meet her tomorrow. And don't you dare bring her to the hospital. You know you don't have sense. Uh -uh. Don't bring her to the hospital. I will meet you guys at school tomorrow. Thank you. Uh -uh, sister. Did you know everyone think? You don't have sense. Uh -huh. What if something goes wrong? Who will take responsibility? Sister, nothing will go wrong, I promise. Yeah. Everything is going to go as planned. Yeah. Thank you, sister. Yeah. I love you. My <laughs> Chai. Poor woman. She was strong and healthy yesterday, just waiting for her surgery. You know, I heard lung cancer kills at any time. I understand, but her case wasn't the worst. It wasn't that serious. That was why she was brought here. I wonder why she died all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Nice question. Now let me tell you. Wait. I heard. Dr. Chase was asked to operate on her yesterday, but he refused. What are you talking about? Dr. Chase is not a surgeon. It's the duty of the surgeon to operate on their patients, especially Dr. Chris. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe if Dr. Chase had operated on her yesterday, she would have still been alive and this story wouldn't be coming up. Anyways, I still don't blame him. Mm. What's the time? I'm lost to the poor woman. Timekeeper. What's the time? My shift is over. My, My shift, shift is over. Bye bye. Wait, Joe, kilo day. No, Julie. No, Julie. I'm talking to you. Yes, what is it, doctor? What is it? Don't you think you have something to explain to me? Something like what? What happened to the woman? Which woman are you talking about, if I may ask? Oh, really? <laughs> you don't know the woman I am talking about? Yeah. Judy, you know I like you so much. You know why? Because you are damn good in your job. Oh, oh my god. The god of Washington. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much. You know, Doctor, I don't know what you are insinuating. Yes. I don't know where you are driving to. But I know that each time a patient dies in this hospital, it gets to you. Makes me wonder if you are indeed a doctor. But that's by the way. Don't let this particular one get to you, okay? She is dead and she is resting and I'm sure she's in a better place. Right? You, 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 know, you know one thing? You can deceive me. You can deceive the entire world. But you know what? You cannot deceive yourself. Because you know the truth. You should respect your boundary and stick to your job. Okay? Stop being curious about things that are untrue. Dr. Chess, don't you think you are going too far with this? See you around. Really? Stop being curious over things that are untrue, you say. It's fine. But one thing you both must know is that you and Dr. Chris will not go down with this. I got my eyes on you both. Seriously. I will make sure 
I get to the root of everything. I will expose you people. Go back and meet me. Mira, what do you think we should do after school today? We can sit at some or through the day. I don't know. Maybe I should ask around and see if anyone is throwing a party. Mm -hmm. Party? Whatever party someone will be throwing today will be so boring. Why don't you go to the amazement park after school today? Just us. What about Kosi? <laughs> this one she's acting up. Are you sure she will agree to go with us? Let's ask her first. Okay. Oh. Dude, I've spoken to my sister. She has agreed to go with Okay. Why here? Why don't you go to the hospital? Look, are you mad? Do you think abortion is legalized? Oh, really? If my sister's hospital finds out about this, she'll be in trouble. So we'll just wait. Once school is over, she'll be here. Then we can fix it, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I need the mom. I need the mom. Okay. But no time, please. I'm, I'm scared. <coughs> what are you doing here? What are you guys talking about? Wait, are you making your weekend plans without me? Tell me, it's about a party, right? Glory, are you scared of going to the party? You're not too key, right? Don't worry. I Just shut up! Just shut the hell up! Party, party, party! Is that all you know? Rubbish. Glory, I feel very It's not even like I said anything wrong. What did I say wrong? I know that you are talking about a party. I need to find a venue. I cannot start on this weekend. I'll find a venue. I'll be looking for you, yes. We also come into the class to tell you that we plan on going to the amusement park after school. Why amusement park? When Chike is planning a pool party. Really? Yes. That sounds fun. Very, very fun. So, are you guests? Eh? Of course, we are. Right. So, you come to the house so you can go together, right? Mm. So, you come to the house so you can go together, right? Why don't you guys come and look for me? Huh? Fine, no problem. So, I'll come. Okay, right. thank you. Bye. Olive, I think Gloria and Benita are up to something. Something like what? Mm, I don't know. Well, it looks like they are planning to attend the party without inviting us, especially me. Party? For you, it's all about party. What was I even thinking? But check it now. I need serious updates. I can't stay at home this weekend without attending a party. It's be boring. I think I have an update. You do? Yes, I Tell do. Tell me, is it a party? Where is the party? Calm down. So, I have this childhood friend of mine that will be celebrating his birthday. Guess what? I was invited. Really? Yes. He even asked me to invite as much people as I can. That sounds great. There is no way I am missing out on this. I am definitely going. You're right. That was good for you. I am not going. Next week is test week. I need to read my book. Oh, see you girls later. Next week is thanks. I need to read. Isn't she a vibe killer? Hey ladies. Hey, hey Frank. So I don't know if you girls should be afraid this weekend. Dibs and I are planning this pool party and you're all invited. See you ladies around. A pool party? That sounds so much fun! Wait. I ain't ditching my friend's birthday party for a common pool party. <laughs> well, a pool party sounds more fun. Thank you for inviting me to your friend's birthday party. But a pool party, I am definitely going. See you around, bye. Are you being that serious? Please, let's be fast. I need to go back to the hospital. Is she the one? Yes. 
어머니. 이거 complete. So where do you want to do it and when? Let's do it tomorrow at the hospital. Are you mad? Are you insane? Eh? Do you want me to lose my job? Listen, you are not having a surgical abortion, all right? I'm just going to give you some pills and injection and then you can go back at home and take care of yourself. But what if something goes wrong? What if my auntie finds out? If I may come in, I suggest you take it on a school day. You just come to school very early in the morning, you take the pills and whatever, and then you wait until school is over. It's still the same thing. I had abortions uh, very painful. It's not the same thing. Alright? Besides, you're not a child. So the unbearable pain comes in a few hours, and then that's it. The remaining pain is just going to be like a menstrual cramps. So you can go back home and take care of yourself. Exactly. Look, I've done it before. It's just as she said it. You just wait until school is over. Then you go home. Your auntie will just think it's your normal menstrual cramp. Thank you. Yes. Okay, um, this sounds convincing. Let's do it on Monday then. Alright. You better be here on time because I don't want other students see me when I'm leaving. Okay. Later, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye. I'll be fine, right? Of course, you'll be fine. It's just an impression. Come back. Come down. And where do you think you're coming from? This thing. Where are you coming from? None of your business. Excuse me, where, where are you going to? I said it is none of your business. Hey, goodness. Where on earth is it done that a nurse on duty will leave her post and go out? Where? Please tell me, where is it done? Well, if taking a little break to clear my head is a crime, then sue me, Miss Head Nurse. Hey, cup of mercy. Don't just worry. You see, all of you little brats in this hospital will be deep with all of you. It's just a many small, small thing. Idiot. Not your fault. Because you always bragging when you are angry, what is it? I want her out of this hospital. Who? Felicia. Now, take a deep breath and go back to work. We'll talk about it. Listen, I don't know how you want to do it, but I want her out of this hospital right now. I said, let's talk about it when you're more calm, okay? Come here. I'll go back to work. It's okay. Go back to work. It's fine. Someone did it urgently and they bought it and used it. Oh, Dr. Chris, please. You know that this drug is very dangerous to health. And you, listen, you know it has a very bad effect on patients, especially when overused. And it's not good for old people. Dr. Chess, what are you digging at? The old woman with cancer. 
died all of a sudden. And the hospital, I mean you, announced that she's dead. Dr. Chris, is there something you're not telling us? Did you intentionally kill this woman to relieve yourself the stress of operating her? Are you mad? I mean, how dare you accuse me falsely? Listen, Dr. Chess, if you want to accuse me, go about it the right way. I'm the senior doctor in this hospital, and I won't have you insult me for this insolent attitude of yours. You're yeah, suspended. Leave my office now. I don't want to see you anywhere around this office. Leave! I said, leave. <laughs> 